Okay, here's a quick video about how to troubleshoot and install unlocked Minecraft versions. The very first problem most people run into is they have an old demo copy or an old trash copy laying around and it will cause problems. To get rid of this problem, go up to control panel. When you control panel, go over to programs and make sure that you do not have Minecraft installed. If you do, uninstall it. And as you see, there's two copies there. That right there will cause a conflict and the copy will not open up. So go through the install process. Make sure there's nothing listed there, and then we're going to check the folders themselves. Be right back. Okay, you see that both Minecrafts have been uninstalled. Now we get rid of the conflict, but we're going to make sure that they're gone. What we're going to do is come down here and we're going to type in percent app data percent sign. Click on that roaming and Minecraft X ray is okay, but you're looking to make sure that there's no folder in here called dot Minecraft. If there's a folder called dot Minecraft, you'll delete it. The other place you need to check for Minecraft leftovers is program files or program files x86. Make sure there's nothing in there called Minecraft. There isn't, so you should be Minecraft free right at this time. The very next thing you do is you grab the downloads of your unlocked files. those real quick. There's one, there's two, and there's the third one. Now what it is, is this is a you see it's just another compressed archive. And they have a help file there that will show you the missing files that you've got to have on your computer. If you do not have the new version of Java and the net framework, you will not have it working properly. So we'll show those in just a minute. File 2 is just by another group they don't have a help file but they also require that you have all the components installed in Kyle 3 I have a list of server sites these are uh, IP addresses of places you can go sign up and, and play for free and then we have a how to do everything in Minecraft book and then we have a couple of Minecraft worlds I'll show you how to do the worlds first thing we'll do is make sure that you can play Minecraft on your computer and the biggest problem everyone have is they don't have the Java Verify your Java. And what you want to do is since um, Minecraft plays exclusively almost in the Java environment, you must have full Java up and running. Alright, so it did, we now know we have the full Java 
that is what causes 90% of the lockups for Minecraft. That means we can go ahead and do installs. So we minimize those right there for you. So you have that one version right there. That's Kyle 1 version. And then we have the Kyle 2 version. Uh, these are mostly unlocked land party versions, junk versions that people play where you don't want to have to risk you using your account. Which one do you install? Doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and start with the Kyle 2 version. Let's see how it always puts everything in the roaming section. And we now have an icon for it. And then username. To get whatever name you want. They set it set for you to play this version. Just hit play. You'll see the downloading happen. And then what we'll show you is when you come back over here, you go percent sign app data percent sign. Typing sometimes sucks. Uh, loading. Hold on, we'll come back to that in just a minute. Okay, you see it loaded up in now. If you have a bad job version, it's going to load up invisible for you. And we're going to show you how to get rid of the invisible copy. So, it loads up right there. We see it. But you have bad Java, it's not going to load up. You may have an icon on your desktop down here, like that one right there at the bottom. Or you may have nothing. What you do is just come down here, go to Task Manager. Check for running applications, kill it there, or go into processes and kill that. That's your Java engine. Oh, that's escape process. So you come in here, you kill your Java engine, that will kill the Minecraft and you try to restart it. If it fails to restart, then that means that you do not have the proper Java installed or you have multiple copies of Java or multiple copies of Minecraft. And remember on Minecraft make sure that when you're there that there was no dot Minecraft folder. This was installed when I clicked that installer. And why I have the dot Minecraft folder which is the go over here to run, type in percent sign app data, percent sign, click on roaming, you come here. When you click on that Minecraft folder, this is where all your modding will be done. Right here under Saves, you click Saves, see how it says this folder is empty. Come over here to Kyle 3. Say, always say copy a world, that way if you burp up you won't kill it. Then we're going to minimize Kyle 3. Now, when we save, we have three worlds. We go over here to our icon. See, this is my Team Extreme. This is one of the launchers.
verse 1.8.8, which is the latest release. And you can also, um, on the launch, or pick older versions. If you're having a problem with 1.8, try 1.7. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, well, first we'll do, before we get to that, we'll show you that it does work. There are the uh, worlds that we copied over. Has just a bunch of uh, redstone tools, devices, machineries, traps, automated doors, uh, things like that. But as you see, it works just fine. Multiplayer. You see, this is the uh, their site. The problem is with uh, the guys who cut the release releases of their servers are usually very very popular and very hard to get into and uh, even though it says 145 out of 150 so there will be five slot open a lot of times they reserve um, slots for game controllers so like the game masters uh, have reserved slots so they always can get on their server no matter what and if that's true then you can't get on the server A server full. But what you can do is you can just click edit, change their server, or you can add a new server from that list I gave you. You go to a website and they'll have the name, an IP address, and you can come in here and they'll tell you whether to click this and then you can join someone else's server. It's not very hard to do. So that's how to do the servers to play another version of Minecraft is when you get to the lower screen if you don't think your computer's got enough oomph click down here at the bottom where it says version and let's go back to version 144 see so download it so it's actually going to go off and get the old version of Minecraft that runs on old Java and runs off an older computer for you. Now, I haven't done this for a little while, so we're going to make sure it works. And there you go, Minecraft 4.4. This is the old version. You can create a new world. I always go hard for. And that allows you to go back to an old version. Alright, that was their version. Now, if you wanted to check out the other one, always go to your control panel, go to programs, Find the version of Minecraft and uninstall it. We see it's going to go find it right there. And the reason you always want to uninstall before you do another install is the versions may not be compatible, and that's why you always copy the worlds over and you don't sit there and pass them over. You go in here and you know that's what whoop, not a complete uninstall unless trash fine. Grab the trash, throw it to the cycle bin. Oh, it's still going. Still bleeding. There we go. It's hold on, it's still bleeding. But you do not want it to have trash in it when you And there it goes. A couple of them are still running here. Let's 
make sure uh, yeah see it's still running right there that's why I said come over here make sure that nothing is running there now you see it's not already running and you can go ahead and delete the file alright so that one is completely off my desktop completely gone this is one by the other group click on it yes remember you always have to update the your Java and your computer. That's the biggest thing that people don't update is Java and Flash. So if you just go to Google and you type in update Java, update Flash, it'll take you to websites. And never go to the first one that says the word um, uh, add on it. Always go to the one that doesn't have the word ads on it. So anything with the word add is a rip off. Alright, so there's our cool looking icon. Because everybody says I have their cool with the icon. We're going here to Carla. There's our roaming folder. We now have another Minecraft. You can see there's no save or anything in there. When we click their launcher. Think of a cute name. Now you see they just have a different launcher. The other one uses the a modified launcher from the other game. This one has their own custom launcher. Downloads the missing files. See everything's loading in. Now it looks like a regular Minecraft game. And then see they have their own extreme net. They got a thousand players. They go to their uh, website and then you register there and then you register and log on so you can sit there and play this on their server. And then that's how that you can also just add a server. Like I said, just any one. There it's looking for games on your local network. If you and your friends get together. And then if you do a single player game, you notice there's no worlds now because I didn't copy those worlds over. I'll show you this real quick. Let's create a very quick world. And when you create a world, let's say you have some friends over there and they all have their laptops or you have a couple computers set together. What you do is once you create a world, you share the world you're playing and someone else can join you. Give just a minute and we'll pause it. We're at 20 minutes. Okay. You see how we have a world here? Just hit the escape key open to land and when you open up a land you can pick the type of world you have survival world everyone works as a team spectator they can just watch what you're doing and see the cool thing you built they can't break stuff creative everybody has unlimited blocks and toys go, go nuts adventure you just go enjoy that one cheats you, you have various cheat codes you can turn on and off and then you just hit start land world and now if they fire up their version and they go to the online multiplayer games it will scan the land and say game found such and such machine and then you'll get a little message that pops up that's saying that so and so has joined your game and there we are we're logged in 
And if you haven't played the hardcore mode, those hearts right there, that's how much life you have. And when you die, you cannot respond. One time play. That's why we play them on championships. Alright, there you go. Try that out. Shows you how to do some of the stuff on this. Like I said, this one, just like all the others, has the ability that you can grab it, pick a version of Minecraft. Because it could be that you just have outdated files. Update your Java just to be rocking and rolling. Uh, if that doesn't help, give me a message.